Hi everyone! This video is going to show you how to make some cuts of C channel in Fusion 360. So I have here a very simple start to a assembly that's using the parts library um, which is available on GitHub and this parts library has a variety of um, different things that we can use including structure and aluminum, but it's only really at one length. So how do we go about reducing that? There are two ways. One is to use the add-on that they provide, and the other is to do it manually. This video will show the manual process, um, and I'll post a link and a description uh, in the description for how to access the add-on. You can try both and see what you prefer. Um, personally, I just like using vanilla version of Fusion 360 and just be able to make precise chain modifications as I need, so I'll just use the manual process, which is basically just to do a Boolean subtraction operation on the piece. So what you can see here is actually not the full piece. If we turn on the work features, you can see that there's actually more um, C channel up to the full length that we've cut off. This is the remaining snap parts that were added, and the snapping doesn't get deleted um, when you delete this, when you subtract the C channel. So one thing that you'll want to do is um, turn off the work features when you're actually previewing your design, or you switch to the render mode and you just render it. Um, anyway. What's been done is basically a Boolean cut. So first of all, you get a full piece of C-channel, you joint it onto your um, chassis or whatever piece you're building, you create a sketch of the dimensions that you want to cut off the C-channel, and then you, from there, extrude the sketch up uh, to subtract. And the handy thing with this is it allows you to make um, any type of cut you like. You could make a piece of C-channel with a notch cut out of it, like a customized piece of anything, basically. Uh, it gives you a lot of control, whereas um, the add-on is simply just to adjust the length. Now, let's go through the whole process uh, with another piece that is the same as the one that was created here, and we're going to joint it to the back. So we have two bracing pieces that go across our chassis. So how do we do that? First, we have our two by C channel. I'm going to drag that in. And uh, you might notice on the left hand side here, I have a different uh, type of view. So this is list view. And then I like to do the grid view instead. Um, it just makes it a bit easier to see. Then we're going to align our piece 90 and 90 on the y-axis. Then we're going to bring it down a little bit, but it doesn't really matter where it is because we're going to, you don't want to manually position it. We're going to just use the snapping to do it. Okay. So what we do is we take the joint and we select that part right there on the hole. And then that's that hole. So that means we want to select that hole there. Boom, done, it's jointed. Now that you have that, press OK. You've now combined the two pieces. And you can then cut. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch on the top plane. That sketch is going to be a rectangle. And we're just going to align it with the other sketch that we made before, just like that, done. Now you could dimension it if you want it to be very precise. In this case, I'm using the lines on the grid to do it. Finish. And then from there, the last step is to extrude up and cut. But you'll notice that it doesn't work. Even if I switch to cut, it's not going to give me the cut yet. And the reason why is because by default, things are locked into um, the library. So this lock means that it's connected to the library. What we have to do is we right click and choose break link. And then now this piece can be cut and modified and it won't make any effect on the library. 
So we go like that. And now that's making a cut. We press OK. And there we have it. We have our two pieces. And from here, I'll go back to display settings and turn off the work features. And now we can see a nice, pretty view of our robot as it's coming together. And that's it for the video. Feel free to go back and rewatch any sections you like. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.